Oh, well, I had a wonderful childhood. And I had a grandmother that was one of the founders of the Pasadena Playhouse. And she took me when I was three years old to see Lily Pons and Madame Butterfly, which, of course, was an art, music, and theater experience. So I guess I've loved it ever since. And I was married at 19 at Yale. I taught school, my husband went to school. And we were starving to death. But art is almost always free. And we were in a position to take advantage of all of that. Klaus Oldenburg was in my husband's class at Yale. So we saw, and there were wonderful museums in the Connecticut area, and his parents lived in New York. So we did all that. My husband was offered a job here. I cried for three months because we lived in Connecticut and we'd moved nine times in six years. I'd had three babies in five years in three different states. But he saw that we were gonna starve to death in Connecticut. So he, he came here. The children and I didn't come for three months. Uh, but anyway, by the time I'd been here for three months, I had become a docent. That if you care about art, music, theater, and sports, this is a wonderful place to live. Well, my father started, he was one of the founders of the community chest in Cleveland. It's like the United Way now. And it was made very clear to us as little children that anything that we had, we shared with other people. I mean, that too was just part of my life. We were told that um, how important it was. And I saw how grateful the people that my father helped were to him. So. Uh, maybe it doesn't make any difference to other people, but it certainly did to my brother and me. I did this after my husband expired because we had done other things. I was one of the founders of Progress Through Preservation, and I feel strongly about that group too. But the Akron Community Foundation reaches out to other groups and they were struggling to get this museum going. That was what I thought, well, I could give them some 15 cents to help toward a large, larger. And look how the museum has turned out. It's very rewarding, like having a garden, <laughs> seeing it grow. But the wonderful part about being a docent is it's a learning, it's an education experience. And that was always made very important to my brother and me. How lucky we were to have a good education and to my own grandchildren now. There's a lot here to learn and all the time. That's the beauty of being in a museum or a ballet and watching new ballets or theater and watching new plays. It's a changing experience and enriching. Well, I love it when they have education things. I often come down here and you see these kids that have never been in a museum and that maybe their parents never have either. Their eyes are opened and they don't know anything about this kind of a world. I was a teacher in the eighth grade in New Haven, and you know, if you get one kid that turns out to do something wonderful, you're ahead. 